Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today we're going to make some Dutch oven biscuits and bacon jam. So y'all stay tuned. <music> Yeah, so it's been a while since we made these beautiful biscuits like this right here. Look at that, right out of the Dutch oven. Perfectly cooked, nice flaky layers. They just pop right open, look at that. All right, so when I found this recipe uh, for bacon jam in Southern Cast Iron Magazine. I never made it. All right, guys, today we're gonna make some biscuits. It's been a little while since we've done this. We got uh, two cups self rising flour right there. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little additional salt to it, about a half a teaspoon. And also, I'm gonna, I won't mind the rise up pretty good. So I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of bacon powder into our self rising flour. Give it a little extra help. I like mine big and fluffy. Y'all like y'all's big and fluffy? Leave us a comment right down below. So it's gonna give that a quick mix. And I'm gonna come in, this is real lard. This is the this is the real stuff here. It's gonna be about a quarter of a cup or about that much. All right, and it's we're trying to do this on Dutch ovens for you today, but it's sprinkling rain already. So we'll see how all that is gonna go. I already got some uh, Another part of our entree going back there on 10 inch. Now I'm going to cut this in with a potato masher. It's a little hard to get started, but once you get it started, it works pretty good. Of course, you can use a pastry blender. You can use a couple of forks. You can get in there with your fingers if you have to. Now, I'm not, I don't like to cut this in too far. You know, it helps, I think, make your biscuits a little more tender. So that's about as far as I'm going to cut it in right there. All right, now it's time for our liquid here. We got some uh, milk. It's going to start out with a little bit. Just keep uh, slowly adding it until it just comes together as a tender dough. That was about a cup in that when we started. It looks like we're probably going to have to use most of it. So it's been about <clears throat> about 10 minutes preheating this oven. We're gonna go ahead and set that right there on this, our Lodge 4-in-1. See me uh, show you here. We use the 10-inch Dutch oven lid to cut this piece of parchment. We're gonna go ahead and put that right in there. We're gonna lay in our biscuits all the way around. Now you can do them touching or not. Um, I like to do them not the edges to get a little doner. All right, that's a perfect amount of biscuits. One more thing. So we'll go ahead and just paint the top of them with some melted butter. So things are not going as planned. You know, I started this uh, a while back, an hour ago, and that's not even boiling yet. And the reason is, is this cowboy lump charcoal is just going out. After we put it up here on the on the table, it's just going out, okay? This here, just barely going, okay? On my biscuits, about halfway through, all this just, it just quits, it just quit. I mean, it was all lit. You can see it's all got ash on it, but then it just goes out. So that's the problem with that, and this is what we're using. That's Royal Oak. All natural hardwood charcoal works great on the sportsman's grill where you got some air flow into it so we just started up some kingsford's over here 
and uh, see if we can save this. I don't know. I know we can save that. I don't know about these biscuits. Of course, only a few dollars worth of ingredients there, so if we have to start over, we'll do it. So here's the uh, ingredients you need for your, your bacon jam to get started with. It's plenty of bacon and plenty of sweet onions, and then we're going to throw a few other ingredients in there that's going to make it into something special. I want to take a minute to thank all the new subscribers that have come on here in the last, I don't know, since about October of last year. So uh, we've, the channel's grown like crazy, a lot more of you coming on. Um, I wanted to let you know that you need to ring the little bell beside the subscribe button to turn on your notifications so that uh, you're notified every time we put up a new video. And I'm getting a lot of questions from the new guys. Hey, and we love you all about uh, doing certain dishes or certain techniques and so on and so forth. I, I wanted to remind y'all that we have an entire channel page. If you just click onto our logo, that'll take you to our channel page. There's 240 videos there and they're all organized into playlists. So if there's something you're looking for, you're probably gonna find that we've already done it. Um, and right now we're actually gonna go back in some of the older videos we're going back and we're going to redo them because uh, our production value is just uh, a lot better these days. And so as we uh, as we move along, we're actually going to be covering some older ground for a lot of you new guys that are just coming on. But check out that channel page. If you uh, if you don't see it up on there, please leave me a comment and uh, we'll try to get it done for you. We're fighting the weather today, and I think that's what's making my cowboy coal go out. It's just the humidity is too high. The Kingsford did uh, get it done. So now here comes another shower, but uh, the biscuits look pretty good. Let's check the bottoms. Bottoms are about perfect. They look done all the way through. Just so gonna go ahead and just take them off real quick, right onto our cast iron plat platter. Cause I wanna use this Dutch oven to finish our bacon jam. Those are pretty. So this recipe we're trying to do for bacon jam comes from uh, something I just discovered. And this is uh, Southern Cast Iron uh, Magazine. A uh, friend of mine brought this over as a gift uh, when he came here from Michigan last year. And I've read every single word and every single recipe in this in this thing. And the recipes and the photography are, are they're gorgeous, okay? Um, so if, if you haven't ever checked it out, uh, it's uh, Southern Cast Iron. Um, it's got some really great ideas in here. So today we're going to try to make this uh, bacon jam recipe here. And that's going to go uh, right there on them fresh biscuits we just baked. Oh man, they smell good. So that bacon's getting almost crispy there. As soon as we get that fully crisp, we're going to take it out, drain on some paper towels. We're going to pour off all but about a tablespoon and a half of that oil. And over on the other table, we got onions ready to go. All right, so the pot's getting hot. This is our sliced uh, Vidalia onions. It's about two medium onions. I'm gonna go ahead and give them a little bit of Seminole Swamp, low MSG. We wanna cook those gently for about 10 minutes. If you think it's getting a little too hot, we'll just pick it up and set it to the side for a few. And maybe we can adjust the fire if we need to, but I think they're going to be all right. I'm going to go ahead and put the top on also, just to hold the moisture in. So it's been about, uh, it's been about 10 minutes now. We went in and stirred them once. The onions are starting to look translucent. Give them another stir, they brown nicely, they're caramelizing, and I, I believe that's the, uh, the idea with this. So I'm gonna leave them go just another few minutes uncovered, and then we'll start adding the rest of the ingredients. And don't worry about the ingredients right now, I'm gonna scroll those at the end of the video, 
So you can always go back if you forget. You can always just pull this video up again and go back and so look at them again. So those actually look good right now. So I'm going to come in with the rest of the ingredients. A quarter cup of water. Okay, a quarter cup of sherry vinegar. I didn't have it. I used some apple cider vinegar and some Marsala wine. A quarter cup of that. I'm going to throw in a couple buds of, a couple sticks of fresh thyme. And then uh, this is a quarter cup of brown sugar and we're just going to stir that together and let it simmer and the other thing we need is the bacon let's get this started and then we'll put in the bacon so now let's come up back up to a bubble going to add uh, about a teaspoon of black pepper fresh cracked and our bacon we crumbled it up crumbled up the bacon so nice and crispy. All right. I told you earlier this right video wasn't about this dish over here in the number 10. But there's a beautiful round roast going right there. And it's looking awesome. So it's about time to A, make sure it's not sticking. Nope. And the broth is beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and add some veg in there. Be ready to eat soon. Sometimes when you're outdoor cooking, this is what you get. The only thing that's saving us is the little bitty tiny porch we got right here. Otherwise, this could be over. All right, guys, so just pulled that off the fire, and this is what it should look like. It's all nice and kind of thick and syrupy. So I'm going to let it cool off a little bit, and then we'll pick out these thyme sprigs. See, most of that thyme actually cooks off of there. So we'll pick those, all of those out. And uh, we're going to let this cool down to room temperature. So that little uh, storm that just blew us in off the porch, I just went in and checked my phone. I guess uh, now we got a new tropical storm right down over, uh, right off of Naples. That's about 110, 120 miles from me right now. Um, wow, uh, you know, last I heard, well, it was Friday, you know, it's been like three days ago. I've been out here cooking. For you guys for three solid days i haven't even watched tv or listened to the radio all right guys so it's time for the plate backwoods gourmet style first thing we're going to bring over is some of that dutch oven roasted pot roast oh my god there man man i should have got my hot pad earlier Now, the subject of the video was this biscuits and bacon jam. So let's go ahead and bring over a biscuit here. I'm gonna open her up very carefully. Of course, you can sop that beautiful gravy with that too. I'll bring over a bacon jam. And it's delicious. I already tried it. Sweet, herby smoky all right for garnish a couple of sprigs of thyme Guys, we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. It's a bacon jam on Dutch oven biscuits. That is really good. That's the first time I've ever tried it or made it for that matter. So, thanks for the guys over at uh, Southern Cast Iron Cooking for posting that recipe. I'm gonna have some more of that. Wow. 
that's really something hope you go try it yourself so if you like what we're doing please hit the like button right down there and uh check out these end screens for more great backwoods gourmet content thanks for watching